so you know I was dreaming it's like uh, 2 almost 3 p.m. I was sleeping I slept for one hour and I was dreaming about being like young with my brother playing soccer uh, in front of the building where we lived in Albania and we were like only me and my brother we used to play together because he was almost my age and so and I was pissed you know I was telling him but but how come there's nobody here you know I mean we wa I, I we wanted to like make it a, a soccer game you know but there was only the, the two of us so yes you can play soccer with only two people but it's it's boring it's even tiring you know no it's not boring you can play but it's more funny if you have at least two versus two people you know so four people you know. and I was telling him but where is any any was a friend of ours unfortunately he turned out to be her Tillian. he was a great guy but even when we came here in Italy I used to go out with him he also came here in Italy with his brother his brother even more reptilian and 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 we and we were starting to like call him from his uh, window house you know of his cell you know and as soon as we were about to call you know th this uh, this old dream you know that I just had this beautiful w uh, girl comes in the window and says ah any now has has gone out uh, to see her new girlfriend what and uh, and as soon as he apparently was coming with his new girlfriend i wasn't able to see who she was because he was like on the behind this truck that was parked there apparently uh, in front of our house huge truck parked in a house so you tell me what the hell the dreams mean guys usually when I've tried to analyze dreams they give me no clue at all guys just stupid shit that the brain just burps out so any was like you know uh, you maybe it's a female name in uh, and uh, but you would spell it like this ah beautiful this uh, this is the beautiful like you spell it like any but in reality you know, it's like this I have to do it like this otherwise the stupid program starts to in interpret and even now I think about it is uh, a huge uh, oil company here in Italy maybe the truck was uh, giving some gas to us maybe a truck will explode soon and uh, will cause the war like the shit is going on in uh, South Africa right now so maybe uh, in fact I saw of if you see this latest videos that come from beautiful uh, South Africa you would see a truck in a truck in flames in one of these videos did you see the hell that's going is going on there it's so easy to make uh, the sheep all uh, as I've said you know in Albania they just uh, had to stop the trucks from moving and uh, it succeeded without any problem and uh, I remember in those years in the early 90s when I was still waiting to come to Italy I was still in Albania uh, it was we were unable not to get bread guys because you would go to this uh, factory that produces bread in our town and and they couldn't do anything because the, the farina how do you say farina the white powder you know that you use to make bread I cannot find the word you know uh, yeah. 
whatever. It was not coming because tracks were not moving, because uh, the elite wanted us to suffer. So that we would accept, you know, the new, th the new shit, you know. And so, and so this is uh, repeating all over again, guys. Now it, this thing is happening in South Africa. So if you haven't done it, yeah, I suggest you to watch some videos. So, so do you see uh, what are the sheep able to do if they don't have food, guys? It's happening right now. Go and see it. You'll see hell, guys. I mean, you would think that shit, you know, would happen just in Albania or, or in uh, some shitty place like in Africa, or, you know. No, go in South Africa, you know, which is, uh, you know, South Africa, if you don't know, you know, there's also white people there, you know. So go and see what the dummies are doing, guys. What the sheep are able to do. Again, right now I'm uh, totally safe here. This is a really small town where I am right now, <laughs> thousand meters high in the mountains. But there's no guarantee, guys. They can make me move. Not only me, but anybody. They can make anybody move wherever they are, guys. If you think, you know, Chris, I was listening to you. You know, you think that maybe I can go away. <laughs> that that was my my uh, that I tried for for many years here in Italy. You know. And wherever I moved in the in the mountains, in the remote places, there are no remote places. Everywhere, the state owns everything through anybody, but they control everything. If they see something different from what it should be, they will bother you. I mean, you, for example, would uh, stay at an abandoned house. I can guarantee you that there are spies, people that live there, that would spy for you. People are nasty. I'm telling you, people are nasty. They ask for these lies here. They, it's like they, oh please, Ministry of Truth, provide us with some lies. And and today I will talk about more uh, lies, like for example, this new. You know, it, it was so long b b with without any lies, you know. It's not working anymore, guys. I have no idea. So maybe they want, uh, this th application wants me to remove this shitty thing, a drawing shitty thing. What what the hell do you want, moron? What, what the hell? Ask? Enter? What the fuck should I do? Yet. Maybe like this. Arrows? Nothing. What the fuck should I do? Should I reopen this fucking thing now? Ante prima di merda? <laughs> Here we are. There's nothing to do. Miniature? Immortacci tua? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Man, let me close this fucking shit. Man, oh man, oh man. Already life is hell, you know. I should go through this shit. Oh, fuck that stupid pro... I will never use it again. Fuck it. I will go one by one like this. Shit. So here's the whore I wanted to talk about, you know. But now every time I have to do readjust everything, man. I hate computers, guys. We are, we are just prisoners here, guys. To play with these tools of these monsters. Man, I hate it so much, guys, that we are so dumb and do nothing. We are so powerless, you know, just... Just me. I'm so bored to even do these videos, man. So you know the again, guys. If the sheep, will, you know, it's like you would say, but I hear this one is a liar. No, you cannot say that. You know, 
Because after a while, after too many lies, the, the sheep would realize, you know, it's a lie. No. So the sheep will ask. They want some, some confirmation that they are not slaves, you know. They want the their slave owners to tell them, here, your life is beautiful. Things are changing in, around you and you are making the change. Look how shitty it is in uh, uh, in Iran. They cannot even uh, go out uh, with without the j jihab, you know, the woman. And uh, and in this case is this one here. Uh, this, uh, you know, they, they find the uh, well. Of course, this one is a total whore, you know. Uh, so let's bring uh, human rights and democracy to to Iran also. And so she fights by doing nothing, by not covering herself with the jihad. Uh, the wind in my hair, my fight for freedom in modern Iran. Modern. Um, Masi, Masi Alinejad. There's, there's the word, there's the word Dial there. D the, Dijal, you know, which in Arab means the devil. D y a l, also e. Fly for you. Uh, oh, <laughs> you can see here how, how I how I uh, named the, the the pictures of this series here. Iran whore. Oh, you say Iran. She has also the the rose here, the Rosicrucian. You know uh, her handlers or him his handlers. Who knows? And um, and of course. Uh, Democracy is the same thing as communism because that's why you know, you see the fist of communism and in in the same w United Nations organization in Geneva, you know, in Switzerland, in Auschwitz, uh, with the eye here, and and you see democracy and uh, and yet she does the fist. Uh, they should be like the opposite, you know, because democracy is something. Uh, well, it's the same thing, you know, because in Albania, for example, when we were in communism, they gave us democracy, which they said to us is the opposite. But now, uh, democracy is like the the left, so the reptilian games, guys, just just to fool us, in, uh, to fool them, you know, because the sheep loves it, guys. I'm telling you, the sheep love. They want some escape from from this hell, guys. They cannot handle it, guys. It's like the psychopath of my fa of my father, guys or any kind of psychopath. They do not want to live in reality. That's why they create this, uh, their, their self in another compartment. It's like they create another partition in their, in their hard disk, in their brain, you know, where they are powerful. But in, in, their, in reality, you know, they, they are pieces of shit, but they do not get it. You know? And so, Rosicrucian here, the rose. The rose is something repeating. Even here in Italy, they use the rose as the logo of uh, vaccination. Uh, five petals, a pentagram, you know, Rosicrucian and everything. Now, uh, let's go to the next image. Here she is, she is given free... Oh! <laughs> I go off, I'm telling you, I'm still alive. Some kind of a wasp or something wanted to eat me alive. I'm alive, I'm not a sheeple. So here she is. Ah, I want to give whoredom to the Iranian woman also. Ah, and they also want to give us this. Ah, can't you see this shitty place? You know, in Iran they have to to cover their hairs. You know, well here uh, we have to cover uh, our our face. You know, and, but there there that they can do anything. Like, but yes, but here too we cannot do anything. You know? Ah, but what, what what are you saying, man? Do you know that they cannot do like really? Let me show you what you cannot do in Iran. And uh, uh, so here here she is. 
Ah, Iran is such a shitty place. How lucky are you, uh, Western woman, um, uh, to live in, 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 in your cage, which is beautiful. So that's why they keep some shitty place, you know, so that they have this contrast, you know. Ah, do, can't you see, you Western sheeple, how good you have it, you know. Look at the sheeple around the world, you know, they're suffering, you know. But on the other hand, you with a muzzle in your face, you know, uh, that to travel you have to get the cure, you know, and everything. Oh, you are so free. And here's a whore. Let's promote, you know, the destructive woman as something good, you know. A whore as something good with the red boots, like a whore. Look, guys. She's free now. And she is whoreanizing the Iranian woman now. Because in Iran also, guys, the people that control Iran are also the same puppets that control us. You know. So here she is with Pompeo, a very, very humble and uh, activist, guys. Humble activist that is fighting for your fight for your right to party. Here is just the phoenix for you, you know. And a reptilian with a suit and tie, uh, with a uh, triplomento here. Like uh, you can see, he has suffered so much. Look, and she has also suffered so much. Look, look, you can see it in in her hor in her uh, face, in uh, that she has suffered so much. Look at their fat and uh, and uh, red painted nails, hands. Of uh, very suffering people, uh, Pompeo sec secretary, <laughs> se serpent Pompeo met with Iranian woman's right activist rights, human woman's rights. You know, to be a whore is to have rights. Activist Alinej Alinejamdadajamasinajalamana. The secretary thanked Jijaja. Uh, for her bravery, her whoredom, and her uh, underscored American commitment to help amplify the voices of other whores in Iran. Uh, and to fly, go away. And to condemn the Iranian regime, bad Iranian regime, for its 40 years of human rights abuses. Come here in the West where we can. Uh, take care of you with a cure and everything and you'll be so much free you know don't stay there anymore here she is with uh, some uh, which in reality you know, in Iran she yeah but uh, here in Iran also they know that she is one of them you know it's just a play you know you know what you know what happened in Albania guys the same people that were in power in communism were the same people that control even today because they they were the same you know uh, blue blood you know so to speak the reptilian blood you know and uh, just as the ch system change you know uh, change the the system the label you know that you give to the system from communism to capitalism CC thirty three but in reality the same people got in power so they are pushing her you know it's not these are the puppets guys. The puppet maybe will lose the job of a politician, but will get another one. <laughs> you can be sure that the, he, a wealthy, was w when before the regime change that they will do, a wealthy will be in the next. These are all reptilians, guys, possessed or or possessed pieces of shit vessels by demons that like to do these filthy games with the sheep. You know that they. She will have no power, guys. The system is so complex and so well done, guys. That the sheep, the sheep, is like a psychopath that just escapes in this other reality where they are powerful. This is what the brain does, you know. It's called also Stockholm syndrome, you know. They cannot see reality, guys. Even if you try to tell them with force, like I've done with ears, I've tried to wake my my father up from his psychopathy, you know. But you cannot do it, guys. It's like telling him, you are a moron. Wake up because you are behaving like a little kid, you know. He leaves the light turned on here, guys. 
even though we have to split the the uh, the energy that we consume with these other neighbors of ours he's so moron so moron that he leaves the light and and they are so kind you know to not say anything to this moron that leaves the light on all night as a moron and if i tell this moron this thing you moron what are you doing Did, are you aren't you ashamed of yourself what you do no i have to do this to them because they are mean with me what have they done to you you moron he's a psychopath he's a psychopath he's paranoid psychopath things that people you know are you know there to to, to do his him harm you know this is the sheeple guys the same thing because by watching my father i can decode the sheeple around me they are psychopaths guys they've been raped by this world as soon as they come in this in this world they see that they have they, they are very limited at what they can do and so what they do they escape in reality and uh, the the ministry of truth here the tv the media provides them this horse that tells them ah look woman ah everything is going so better and better you know meanwhile they are you know killing themselves and everything but yet you know they still want to escape in this reality where they are changing the world for the better look her with other reptilians the same whore you know ah look here so as i show you in the first one she was invite she was you can see her fox news cnn oh sorry i have to fox news cnn bbc abc okay an activist hired by television only a moron like a like a psychopath like a sheep would not understand that they are fooling with them and they also put the rosicrucian symbol uh, the pentagram here guys the rose rosicrucian is very masonic guys the rose in her head but the moron do not get it but but it's not that they do not get it guys they want this shit to be real guys this theater these people are morons guys i have three beautiful swallows that are taking a bath are cleaning themselves here so let me go back to the to what she says in one of this because I, I wanted to, to listen to the bullshit you know to analyze it you know and, and she said ah since her adolescence mass uh, well this is the I downloaded the the, the script you know the uh, transcript that YouTube has you know so that I had to make it an image you know because i don't want to like download videos because it's my connection is very slow but, but i also have a video of her now i'll show it but now this one i made like this with an image so since her adolescence the whore has been a thorn uh, the actor so to speak you know let's not even call her a whore you know she is like works for the sheep that wants this shit you know there's market for bullshit and here she is offering herself to the ministry of truth for some theater uh, and so the Ministry of Truth, you know, constructs this uh, this beautiful story for her that the sheep will really love, you know, that they are changing the world. And so, since her adolescence, um, ma m m whatever the the name of this moron is, has been a thorn, thorn, you know, like the rose, you know, in the side of the Ayatollah who ruled Iran. Ah, oh, so brave. Uh, gaining huge following online, inspiring women throughout Iran to remove their hijab, hijabs, 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 oh, jabs, yeah. uh, publicly, and post it online. But if you do this for the muscle guys, they will, you know. Um, after the revolution, the Islamic uh, Republic of Iran got uh, our bodies like a hostage. I mean, this is happening right now here, guys, in in, uh, in the beautiful free world, the Western world. But then let's talk about Iran. You know? uh, oh, and we had to carry the most visible symbol of Islamic Republic on our bodies. You know, the muzzle. I can, you know, switch it, you know. The jihad with muzzle, and it's the same thing, you know. And it's even worse. You know, they are just slapping it, you know, cannot even breathe, you moron. These people cannot even see who you are. Uh, but there, you know, they just have to cover their hairs. 
So that, you know, I will show you. This way you look like a whore. People, women back then would used to cover themselves, you know. So you will not arouse, you know, the dick that the man has, you know, and you will ruin everything. You mara. You think that, that there's no reason for that. Oh, I want to be a whore. Hey, come on, hey, come on. Let's be a whore, but then do, do not uh, whine about uh, uh, morons, you know, horny morons wanting to fuck you. you know? Uh, uh, if you say no, then you won't be able to go to university. I mean, if you say no, you won't be able to go to university even here if you don't put the muzzle. You won't be able to get a job. The same here if you don't put the muzzle. You won't be able to live in your own country. Again, that is coming here too. When you are un unveiled, you cannot have a mixed party. You, 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 yes, here too, we cannot have a party with more than people that the, the reptilians tell us. With men, uh, you can get lashes, uh, you can get arrested for... Uh, uh, cannot get a job, because if you are unveiled, uh, then you have to be in prison. According to Islamic law, I am not allowed to sing Yes, here too, I can guarantee you that if you sing, guys, uh, in one of our, uh, in many of our videos, so I, I had the series, and with time I will upload some of those videos, guys, and uh, right now there are some, at least two videos of, uh, of a series that I, that I did called Street Mame. Street Mame, you spell it street, you know, just like the word street, and uh, Mame is M. A M E, which were the in initials of my name and the name of the other guy, Amerigo. He was called Amerigo. I was called Marcel. So that was the the mixing of our letters and street because we went in the street, guys, to to make uh, wake up the sheep, so to speak, you know. But on the other hand, Amerigo just did it for fun, for for art, so to speak. And so when we were when we wanted to sing in the street guys you cannot do it you cannot do it the pigs will come at you and will arrest you and fine you and don't give me this bullshit that you cannot uh, dance and you cannot sing because and in that series I will post you the the after this video I will post you a video of street mama where you will see cops stopping people that were just dancing i will show you after this video i will upload this street mama uh, where you will see people uh, arrested just because they were dancing uh, you know so she's saying basically all things that she said that you cannot do there but again you cannot do them here also i'm not allowed to show my hair a lot i'm not allowed to dance as i said you cannot do it not even here uh to be judge i'm not allowed to be a judge ah but you you gotta be a reptilian to be a judge i'm not allowed to get a custod custody of my child yes here true the child children do not belong to the to their parents so what are you saying i have said this many times you know if your child is not registered as a sheep as soon as he's born has put a name a number and uh, lots of shots and he he doesn't you know you don't put him in school where you have to program him at least here in europe guys you cannot do homeschooling like you do there guys you know and if you don't agree with the program that they have in school you know to masturbate and to to sh show them how to masturbate on how to have sex you know and how to be to change your sex and everything you know they will take your children away from you so what's the difference from iran from here a th it's theater, guys. The, the, the sheeple do not want to see reality. They think, ah, oh, Iran is that way. But we, on the other hand, ah, but we are fighting a virus. Ah, come on. And you know, guys, they always would tell me, guys, you are very pessimistic. The sheeple, guys, even with the, when I would, did all this series and everything, I would meet with people. But why are you so... Uh, in, in before before this corona shit, guys, 
I was part of this group of people online. Uh, they were trying, you know, to do something, and and it, they would attack me for for saying things like this. You know that we are slaves. You know, and at some point they they just you know wanted to make a conversation with me, all, uh, uh, not publicly, and they were trying to tell me why are you so you are black peeling, black peeling like black pill you know you are uh, very you know you, you are giving the black pill you know black pill a very demoralizing pill to the people stop being this way well fuck you and I, and I left them you know I mean there was a moron there guys that as soon as this corona shit was started he started to do to 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 buy uh, mu muzzles and to sell them in a higher pr pr price, you know. These are the sheeple guys, and th uh, he was a truther, guys. He was a truther. He was selling muzzles, guys. Makes me vomit, guys. Uh, yes, uh, if you are watching, you uh, a guy called uh, Commander or something, Rockwell Commander. People do not even have balls to put their name. You know, you know wh wh who are wh wh who I'm talking about. So, yes, shit, guys. And look her book, so that the sheep would read her books and s and says, ah, look how free I am. There are some shitty places like Iran here yeah, where people are very, very suppressed. But me, on the other hand, look where I am. I can go with a muzzle but with my hairs ah I'm free to be a whore so here she is you know you know if I can choose guys uh, this one on the right looks to, to me like a prostitute guys and this other one on the left looks to me like a woman you know when I see her I, I, I don't think about having sex with her you know? Well, on this other side, she has a serpent. She's showing me her breasts. Uh, she is like a whore, and everything, you know. Maybe you know. The the Bible is not so stupid, you know, as you think, you know. Maybe there was a reason why, you know. A woman was covered, you know, and not naked like a whore like this, you know. But again, maybe it's, ah, but uh, you want you they want to, Iranian woman to be like this. So, so this is advertising guess guess what the hell they are selling here guys nothing they are selling the whore guys because the whore moves the world gives the male sheeple you know the male uh, side of the sheep these this will you know to to keep working like a dummy because he sees the tits and uh, uh, and he works like a dummy. They and they will make fun of you for not doing this shit, you know, for not going and working like crazy like that. And she's looking at her book and saying like, what the fuck is this book? I wrote this? Yes, uh, you moron, it's, it's your face there in the cover. Apparently you wrote this. Someone writes this shit, guys. He's just an actor over the sheeple. So now, uh, and in the comment, you know, there were, Ah, oh, she is so brave. She is so beautiful. Ah, oh, I love you. You are my hero. A brave, uh, brave hero. Masi, Masi is her name, whatever. And on the other hand, I just uh, took this screenshot because one says this woman doesn't represent. You know, there was a, at least one, uh, one maybe Iranian guy. You know, that says this woman doesn't represent a real uh, Iranian woman who truly fight for their rights. She just ruins the image of her country. And one of her ho whores here in the West says, Fuck off! Fuck off! No, no woman should be forced to cover up by patriarchal bullshit. Well done, Masi Alinajad. Yeah, thank you for giving me this dream of fighting for the rights of women. So, now, before going there, let me show you the video of the whore, because you, 
after all this you you, you can't wait to see her now in a video here it is here's a whore it was pitch black uh -huh. even blacker than black uh -huh. if such a thing is possible uh -huh. my mother used to say darkness is like a monster uh -huh. if you let your fear win then the darkness can devour you uh -huh. stare into the darkness then the darkness will disappear so her mother said to her stare into the darkness and the darkness will disappear maybe you know very you know a, a woman a mother that tells you something profound like this you know she was not the usual Iranian woman you know <laughs> maybe she was someone that has studied you know to say this enlightened you know words beautiful words complex words you know so you can tell you know she she, she has the right blood to be where she is you know up there and invited in CNN and Fox Let's hear more from the morrow. My name is Masih Ali Najad. Uh -huh. I'm an Iranian author and a campaigner for women's rights. And a whore, yes. This is my story. Tell us your story. Come on, I'm excited. I grew up in a small village in Iran where girls are forced to wear hijab. Girls are forced to wear hijab. Now they are forced to wear two months when they go in school and even to take the vaccine and everything. Ah, but we are so free here. I had too much hair. Uh, Imagine I had to cover them all, even inside the house, because I grew up in a traditional family. Traditional family, well, women would uh, dress like this, and, and, and you cannot get a horny, and your dick, you would not get a, a woody, you know? Well, how boring is that? Come on. I was a rebellious teenager. I used to ask so many critical questions. That is why. I got expelled from high school. That is why CNN invites me, because I used to tell lots of critical questions. Like we do all the time here, guys, but apparently nobody invites us. You know. They are not the right questions, you know, that the routine don't like. At my next high school, I distributed pamphlets against the government. Against the government, you know. The government, when they up, up there, you know, have decided the government will change, you know. They make it look that, ah, look, it's, it's, it's starting from the sheeple that are, because they are making leaflets, uh, distributing, the, you know, starting the revolution. But in reality, guys, if it's not the right time to make the change, they will put your ass in jail. It's, if it's not the right time. Okay. So that's why, you know, uh, upper, you know, upper there, they say to, to to one of them a whore you know just start to, to be the, the the brave one and start to do things because she knows that you will get away with that you know nobody will touch her and i was sent to jail oh jail you know jail jail <laughs> oh, the television you know the reptilian told her this is our agent reptilian she went to jail you, you can trust us you know later as a Look her, you know, with uh, other reptilian Iranians, you know. Political journalist, I got expelled from Iranian parliament, again. She it was in the parliament, yes, a reptilian, you know. The parliament is where reptilians reside, you know. For asking critical questions. Uh, quit, uh, the, the parliament is asking critical questions, guys. When in history that has ever happened, guys? The more questions <laughs> I asked, the more trouble I got into. Oh, so much trouble. Look at her face, she, her tired face. Her, ah, she was raped. And, and ah, look at the blood and signs of, of rape in her face. In 2009, the government of Iran gave me a choice. Leave the country or go to jail. She, 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 she got a choice. Uh, look, reptilian, you have to work outside Iran right now. So we make it look like we. Uh, uh, she, she just was was asked for from the, her superiors to to move uh, her job from Iran to another place uh, in the West, you know. So I left. And he ca here here she comes he she whatever comes in the free world ah oh, where she can work free. I now live in New York, but my questioning hasn't stopped. 
I launched a campaign called My Stealthy Freedom to help Iranian women Iranian whores as this one here challenge compulsory hijab laws in Ah, look, they go in the street with a hijab, eh? look, but with a muzzle. Take a look here, guys. Take a look at the hypocrisy here, guys. Let's remove one cloth, but put another one. You know? Remove one chain, but put another. Mean on me. Sheep. Well, these are reptilians, guys. That's why we live in this shit, guys. And we are watching this shit, this theater of theirs, you know. Doing nothing really. Uh, fuck you, you monster! You lied. I don't like your lies, you piece of shit. I'm sick and tired of the lies of this theater. You are in the studio with lights and like a whore and everything, and you are activist. Man, this is so boring to watch, guys. Man, what a word. Yeah, I beat the hands there like you are uh, we're fighting, yeah. Look at you in the TV studio, you know. You're fighting for freedom. My body, my choice! My, oh, did you, did you hear it, guys? Did you hear it, guys, what she said? My body, my choice. My body, my choice, guys. And yet... They are wearing the muzzle, guys. And for that, you know, for the cure, you know, they do not say, my body, my choice. Amazing, guys. Amazing the theater and the, and the morons buy this, guys, because they love lies. We want you to be horse, woman. Yeah, this way. Show me your tits and uh, lips with uh, uh, red. <laughs> I live alone with a dildo and uh, and uh, you just eat you know, ice cream with Netflix and this is beautiful life. This is life, not like in Iran where I had a husband and uh, and children, you know, just like my mother, my father, you know, worked to. to to made me, you know, but now I'm alone. <laughs> they are depopulating me, <laughs> but I'm having so much fun. <laughs> oh, dummy, yeah, dummy, dummy. Ah, here I can be a whore in the West. And we want every woman in the world to be a whore. Here's the whore looking in the distance of Lucifer the Sun. Against compulsory with a with a rose, you guys. Job, we are not. I ah, hear she is. Thing against the people. The queen of a horse. Of cloth, we are fighting. Look at the boots here. You cannot wear boots in Iran, you know, but she can, and she is, you know, inviting other morons watching her from Iran to do the same. But do not forget the muzzle. For our dignity. We are fighting for our dignity with a muzzle, guys. For our identity. Ah, oh, here past the plane, you know. Ah, oh, with some chemtrails, and she loves it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Did, did you see that shit, guys? They were waiting. Oh, wait, there's a plane passing there. L let's make it, put it to the shot, and you, and you make it like. Here it is again, guys. And you make it like. Oh, I love chemtrails. We are fighting for our. Here it is, the plane passing, guys. Identity. Ah, oh, I love chemtrails. What is it? They put in a woman with the children? Well, of course, but she's alone, has no husband. This is how they want woman, you know? Alone, with children, you know? Adapted children, of course. The women of today are feminists, they do not bother to do that shit, you know, of giving birth. of the wind in my hair oh. but not in my face because I have the muzzle did you enjoy this shit guys? now available for you morons that want to dream keep dreaming so we're done with the horror guys
my neighbors are here. <sighs> now it's time to talk about philanthropy, guys. Because you know, guys, pedophil pedophilanthropy. Um, You know, I've made this video long ago, guys, where I explain what is uh, philanthropy, you know, and the fact that the system used... Oh, shut up, you moron! <laughs> Here's me, guys, explaining, you know, uh, that th the system uses this philanthropy, these companies and everything, you know, so that they hide behind these tools, and with these companies and this philanthropy, philanthropic uh, word wor works they change the system and and you cannot see them it's like you know ah oh, but this this guy is just trying to make money but with helping people you know it's, it's a good thing you know and so just to explain the concept here uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? come on tell us so people do not understand guys that uh, but the system but luckily there's me here that explains. Uses tools, a hand that is, the tool in itself can be used to kill or to eat. It's neutral. But the hand that uses the tool is important. Okay? Before we used to have kings and you can see the hand of the king that smashes your head. And since, um, you uh, here and there you could uh, get angry and go and kill the king they decided to make tools to deal with us so that the sheba would get angry with the tools a tool like the pigs for example or the politician you know they give power to these tools and it's so profound this change that they did guys of delegating uh, apparently power to these tools <laughs> i was possessed when i did this video guys uh maybe because the first time that i st started the, the video just uh, was deleted uh, didn't work you know the phone I had some issues whatever and i had to make this video again <laughs> so that's why i'm i'm so angry the tools are also companies guys companies that do all kind that move the system we have i mean can't you see companies what are they are doing right now guys they, they do not let you enter in their business if you do not you know uh if you if you're you're if you're not aligned with the rules that they get from the reptilians up there so in reality the company behaves with the rules that is given from up there so in reality the company is a tool of them it's not you know the sheep that owns owns that company you know right now everything is a company but it's it is very uh, useful to have this concept because when you go to the company to uh, shop for example you see ah but he's one like me you know but in reality you know it doesn't let you in if you don't have the muscle guys <laughs> this is how, how, how why they use the tools guys funny and this company is like a tool that these people up there use to manipulate the product, which is you, dumb moron. <laughs> Sorry, guys, <laughs> you are not morons, you that are watching, but the, the moron that was watching for like two seconds and then changed the channel. Changed the channel. For the morons, of course. These are, they use these tools because, you know, just like the ant, guys, when you use this i use this to capture for example uh, a scorpion i capture him the scorpion the scorpion will get angry with the tool guys and not with me that i'm instead of stinking me in my part of my body for example my in my feet for example to, so that the the this killing will stop no he stinks this because like the ant the ant can see like for you know the sheep of today uh, get angry with politician you know two three centimeters and not more than that this is exactly the sheeple guys the sheeple gets angry with the two because they are blind and you need god to open your eyes 
so that you don't deal with politicians with left and right and all this BS guys you see that all the companies they didn't give us free a free market guys they were they were changing the way they were doing they were dealing with us you morons they were making it they will hide behind the companies but the people still get angry with the companies guys do not realize the company is a tool so I will show you that the, the rest later but let's see uh, one of them guys one of these people that really that really you know loves us let's start with the beginning who cares so this is a philo this is a philanthropic you know reptilian you know working for us there's been quite a lot of criticism in recent years usually based on sort of mega philanthropic institutions of the bill and melinda gates type and these kind of um, things that foundations and philanthropic institutions so just uh, so you can get an idea here there are lots of reptilian in this room and uh, they are philant philanthropic like you know bill and gates bill and melinda but other ones that maybe you do not know so maybe s smaller uh, pedo pedophilanthropic people reptilians uh, and they are now after they talked you know uh, they are making question to them hey but uh, this guy is saying but there are this philanthropic uh, foundation like the bill uh, killen uh, melinda uh, they are too powerful maybe uh, what, what can we do about that too influential that they are disrupting the ordinary sort of process of government etc how do you react to these kind of uh, critical uh, remarks? Who here wants to take that? Uh, about uh, organizations actually becoming too powerful, and uh, if I understand correctly, even being accused of interfering in government's work. Jean Yves, do, do you want to take that? Uh, I think po getting powerful is a result of what you are doing. If you are doing nothing, you won't be powerful. You start to be powerful when you start to prove. When you are a reptilian. Is that you are, you are adding something to uh, non existing things. So. Uh, you are adding something to non existing things. It's. And being powerful doesn't mean that you can impose your power to the other. Oh no, it doesn't. What are you saying? I'm a reptilian, I can do whatever I want. The only thing is that he said you might only be able to pass a message. To pass a message, only message. Bill and Gates, you know, uh, Bill and Gates. <laughs> only pass a message to us by forcing us you know, to take the vaccine. Uh, or to influence, or trying to influence. Trying to influence. Uh, people. But it's not that they, they, they are trying. They are not forcing us, you know, to, to lock in our. And, and government. So I don't think it's a negative thing. I think the powerful being powerful is an evidence of your ability to prove something. Ruben? All right. Great. These are great people. Let's see more of them. Here's another reptilian from South Africa. Then you see philanthropists like Bill and Melinda Gates who identify key issues that affect the lives of millions of people. They roll up their sleeves, they get the job done, they bulldoze everybody out of the way to get the job done, and they get criticized. Why do they get criticized? Because they show everybody else up. I am very happy that they are accused of being powerful and it's a huge, huge sign of respect that they are. And I want to see more philanthropists active in Africa with that approach. And there are several. There are some great organizations that do some amazing things and they are accused of being bulldozers. But when that's what you need to do to get the job done, to save lives, I don't care. Okay. But then there's a third kind of... Okay. Sure, you just had an idea of who these people are. Hear more, more from them whole lot of other activities. What we're trying to do is to make Africa a better place and to give Africa an opportunity to play a real serious role in what is turning out to be a very interesting new world order. Make Africa... <laughs> more, more, we want more. Ah, no, this this one. So, uh, new world order and everything. So, let's start, because why I'm talking about pe pedophilanthropy? Uh, because... Because they are a tool, guys. And, uh, the elite uses, you know, to to do things that uh, that they cannot do openly, you know. And so what they do, they, they do they use these NGOs. Ah, but they are is is their job with this? Ah, we we the system we do, ah we are not doing this. It's they and them that they are doing this. And so it all started because I I, I saw this uh, advertising in a magazine. I summed the number here, 45531, five, it's 18. 18, it's uh, 3 times 6. And there's the rainbow also. You know, you know the no-hide laws. and uh, The rainbows vary, they love the rainbow, guys. You can see the LGBT and all this stuff and everything. They love the rainbow. And, 
and they have put uh, and they also love kids that's why i'm calling them uh, pedo philanthropy um uh, unite will never be alone uh, uh, give money to uh, to 666 uh so that we can you know instead of you know these poor people you know uh, leaving them alone you know so that they can just live their lives you know ah uh, we need to keep them poor and everything so that we are the ones you know that uh, decide their lives you know because if the sheep are independent and working for themselves ah oh, no we want them to be poor and that is coming also in the west guys where where is so here here they say we are involved because we believe in a better world and and i believe the reptilian guys you should believe the reptilian guys and the amor and for a sheep will watch this stuff says Ah, beautiful, look in what a beautiful world. We have these benefactors, you know, that love so much humanity and, and they are doing this benefactoring left and right and, and they are making the world a better place. Uh, we like to think that we are providing the individual, what is this, uh, with skills and potential that will lead him, her, or, uh, or just merge, you know, would lead the tranny to economic independence and social success. Yes, you believe it. Since 2008, you know, ah, oh, 5 million euros the reptilian gave to the sheeple. And it's all because we are benefactors. Benefactors, you know. Here is even the Rotary Fund Foundation gives money left and right. Uh, they have eradicated polio here educational grants left and right humanitarian grants district grant global grants gg uh, the, the mission of uh, the, uh, the rotary foundation is doing good in the world the vision is to make the world a better place come on me reptilian is working to improve our health to improve, to prevent, you know, conflict and resolution, to have peace, for to get us vaccines, clean water with chlorine, chlorine and uh, and uh, what's the other? Add another shit in our water, so we become dumb and good slaves. Child health, oh, we give the child so much cures, you know basic education and uh, how to change your sex and everything and masturbation in, in your classroom economic community development ah uh, look instead of you know just leaving the fuck alone africa and leave these people alone to do, to live their lives no we keep them poor so we are the benefactors we fuck them left and right I give them money, 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 money. Look, to feed 28 sheep, all you need just ten dollars. Is saying here, and and they and they make it look like ah, oh, if you, why donate? It's, it's like uh, you, they make believe the sheep that by giving money, you know, look what you are doing. You are feeding with just ten dollars, 28 children. With junk food, yeah, junk food because with with ten dollars, you know, you can buy all the junk food. You know, uh, that will make them even dumber and stupider and easier to con to to control. You know, but but again, eh. and this is the future for 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 eastern for eastern countries also. So here here it is, uh, how even here in Italy, uh, this uh, this also this uh, uh, pedo philanthropic company is helping because of the uh, oh there was the virus so they look the reptilian here the poop uh, the poop that just you know uh, now is very fine he he got this big poop in his ass and uh, now now it's fine his health is fine look now that we made you poor even here in the west look how generous it says here they are distributing uh food here here's the naples guys here's italy guys People are eating tons of food that are junk food, guys. This is oil that they use for the machines, guys, that cost one euro. It's pure junk. This is this food is junk, guys. Full of pesticides, full of all kinds of colorants. Look, they are throwing like shit like this. And they are making this theater. Look how reptilian is a benefactor. Look 
how much he gives to you, sheep. You should thank him. Thousand, you know, cans of con of junk food for you, sheep. So you here's you know on the background you can see dead people, guys. Here, that that is like you know a, a, a poster where they say this guy has died because they eat junk food, guys. Here in Italy, guys, people used to make their own food, guys, and they have wonderful food and everything, but not. Not with reptilian. You have the reptilian now that takes care of you, you know. So why work anymore your land? Just come here in the city and the reptilian will feed you lots of junk food like this one here. Well, all kinds of poison there. And multi altri beni di prima necessità. I will give this and many mu and much much more to the sheep. Here are here's a tranny here, Madre Teresa, that says a quote here so that you will see how good we are. Thank you with the Italian flag, you know. Italian flag is was made by Masons, like all flags, you know. Help us to continue this uh, benefactoring of ours. Look, look how we are uh, to, uh, together, united, we can do it. We can do much more, says here. Look, we can give poison food to you that do not work anymore. So, uh, the, the reptilian helping you is fundamental now that you don't work anymore. So this was this happened in Albania, guys. When they, uh, I said in the beginning that we cannot, we, could, we cannot even find bread. We would go to this uh, factory that makes bread and would just wait in the in the in the, the gates there to get some bread, but nothing would come out of there, you know. Because as soon as they got some, uh, how do you call farina? Farina is the white thing, you know, that you make bread. As soon as some came, you know, for a miracle, you know, they will make a few bread, but then some will get it, but we would, like, fight to get the piece of bread, guys. So this is what is coming with the excuse of the virus, guys, here, look. This is Italy, guys, okay? And right now, please go and watch... Uh, there is a channel in... Uh, but you can find it if you want. In a bit shoot called... Uh, Tangentopolis. Tangent, Opolis. Make sh go and see. There is a video that made a compilation of all kinds of uh, craziness is happening right now. F there were people that have no food there. They are stealing and riots and uh, looting and everything. Uh, so and this is coming everywhere because you know there's a virus. There's a corona. The reptilians here. Donate to 666. Again, 5 plus 5 is 10. Then you have 4 on this side. 4 on this other side is 8. So 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 is 666, guys. You think there's no connection there, guys, but keep sleeping. So send us your money. I mean, the money comes from the, from the reptilians, guys. But they make it look like, ah, oh, look, we, we are doing this thanks to donation from you, sheep. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and uh, what else do we have here? This shit continues. Again? But it repeats or what? Let me see. I don't understand why. Th oh, maybe it's this stupid. Uh, so um, I guess I'm, I'm done with you. I raped you enough. If you're able to, to, to come until the end, you know, I hope you get something out of this. And uh, and yes, that's all. See you on the next one. And uh, as I said, after this one, uh, I will upload uh, a video Street Mama where I show you uh, people being stopped by the pigs here in Rome because they were dancing.